I'm going to show you how you can feed an Airtable form into multiple tables. I'll be using this tool by MinExtensions.com, and I will add a URL to this in the description. This tool does require a Pro Airtable account uh, because it depends on the redirect functionality. So the goal here is I want to submit one form, and I want the data from that one form to go into multiple tables. So let's go the, through the live demo here. Um, I'm going to put my name, some stuff, um, just whatever, then hit Submit. So we get redirected here, you see a submitted, and you can also customize this to be redirected to your custom URL. And then I go to my table and I see a form submissions table. That's the form that I submitted. It has the three things I've added. And then I also see that in those two individual tables, I have a new record here, Abdul 100 Street, and then I also have the order for Abdul. And everything got automatically linked back to the main table. So the main table links to the, to the um, record that was created in the clients table and the record that was created in the orders table. So now I'm going to show you how you can set this up. And I'm going to do it from scratch just because this is a, um, you know, this is a, a different than usual extension. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go through everything from scratch. Um, so let's start by setting up the Airtable part. Um, so let's do, first I want my client name, right? So I want my client name here. So client name, um, let's make this the client table. And I want the client address. I mean, I guess it would make more sense to just say address, but it's whatever. Um, and then I want to make a new table for orders. So I make a new table here, orders. And then for the order, I'm going to say order name. And um, let's just do something else too here. Let's do order quantity. Um, and then let's make this a number. All right, cool. So now we have the two individual tables. Now let's make our form table. This is where the form submissions will come to. So form table. And in this form table, so this is a bit of an, you know, it's not a typical approach, but we figured this is an easy way to go about um, implementing this extension. So what we need is to map each column here, each field from the form table to a field in one of the other tables, right? And the way we do that is by using the table ID. So this is very well defined and this is intentionally uh, defined in that way. So if I grab the stable ID here and then add it to here to the actual field name and then do an underscore and then write my field's name. So do client name and make sure this is all case sensitive and everything like that. Um, I would have something that looks like this. What this tells the extension is that this field should feed into this table and in that field, in the client name. So to make this slightly easier, I'm going to add the table IDs to the description here. I think it helps a bit um, to be able to just hover around and be able to see those IDs. So I'm going to add those here real quick so that we can have an easier time looking at this. OK, so we have this table ID and this table ID. Now, I've set up the client name, right? So like I said, make sure this is exactly case sensitive. So when I drop this in here, after that underscore, it has to exactly match that name. And before that underscore, it has to be that exact table ID. All right, now let's do that same exact thing, but for the client address. So I'm going to add a new column here, call it client address. And then um, let me, I didn't grab that table ID, but let me grab that table ID from here. I grab it, I drop it on the left here, and then I put an underscore. Let's do the same exact thing for the orders. And stretch this out a bit, okay. Orders, um, and then for the orders, I'll also need the table ID for the orders. Oh, my bad. Um, and then add that to the left, same stuff, underscore. And last thing here is the, um, what was the last field we had in that table? Order quantity, cool. Um, so the order quantity goes here. And make sure, so I had an issue here, so I had a space. Make sure this is exactly correct. So it has to be exactly table, and then the table ID, and then that little underscore, and then that field name. 
anyway, so this is, we, uh, we've set up the, um, where the records that are created in each individual tables, where they will get their information from. They will get their information from each field here, right? Then another thing we wanna do is we also make, wanna link um, each individual record in these two tables. So when we have a client or an order, we wanna also link it to the submission here. To do that, we wanna do something similar to what we did with client name, address, name, and order and quantity, but leave out the field name. So we only wanna grab that ID and then drop that ID into the field name and then just hit next. And then we'll want to make this a linked record. And then we wanna link it to the correct table. So in my case, I'm using the GU, which I look over here, right? So I can see that it's the order table, link it to the order table. And then let's duplicate this field and then do the exact same thing for the client table. So if I go to the client table here and then um, let's see, so grab this, name it after the client table, and then link it to the client table. Cool. So we are almost set up. Sorry, I know this takes a while, but we are almost fully set up now. Um, so now let's go to the actual extension. So if you buy the extension, this is what you would see. Start by filling up your base ID, uh, sorry, your API key, base ID, and table ID. So um, let me, let me grab my base ID here. These, these are a bit outdated, what you see in front of you. Um, so this is this space that I just created for this demo. And let me grab the table. So in terms of the table ID, we're talking about the table that will contain the form submissions. This is this table right here. And grab the table of this, drop it in here. And if you'd like your users to be redirected to a custom URL after they're submitting, after they submit, add that URL here. Let's go ahead and hit save here. And if I hit on that settings icon, I get an Airtable form redirect URL. And this is where the sort of magic happens. When I go create my form here, uh, I'll be able, since this requires a pro account, I'll be able to have a redirect URL. And this is how we, you know, split that form submission into multiple. Now, of course, these, you know, the way the way these things is not how you would, uh, the, the way the names look here is not how you'd want them to look to your, to your, um, to your uh, customers. So just remove them, clean them up. I'm just gonna do a little clean up here. Um, just remove this. All right, sorry, this is excruciating a bit. I'm sorry. And then the last two things here. So these are the um, the fields that would be linked automatically to the submissions within those tables. So for those automatic linked fields, I'm just gonna remove them here and you should do the same. You should just remove them. And now we have a clean form. So let's go ahead and test this out. So I go to my form and let's put a dual industry order name, uh, fish quantity two. Let's go ahead and submit. Takes a few seconds here. I can actually also click that to skip that redirect uh, wait. And then we'll get redirected to that submitted message. And now let's go back and see what we have. So, um, oh, this was started with three empty records, but this is the record that got created. Um, so this is what it looks like for the client. This is what it looks like for the order. All right, can I remove this? Um, and then this is what, it looks like in that combined table, that form table. Uh, so one last thing here is um, I forgot to make the type here into a number. So quantity, order quantity, I, I kind of made this to sh demonstrate this, the, this fact, but I forgot here. So order quantity is a number field. And here I have it as a text field. Um, so just make sure you sync those up. So in my case, it kind of just magically worked out. But a lot of cases, you know, you want to make sure that your 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 um, field types match in all of these tables to make sure that everything works correctly.